Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're in San Antonio, Texas at the annual meeting of the Society of Thoracic Surgeons. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Sabat Hashem, who is the chairman of cardiac surgery at Hartford Healthcare in Hartford, Connecticut. Dr. Hashem, it is great to see you again and thanks for being with me today. My pleasure, thank you. Yeah, so we're here at STS, we're learning a lot, great presentations going on, and we're getting questions from patients, and this one, Dr. Hashem, is right in your specialty. It's all about mitral valve re-repairs, and Sharon asks, is anyone keeping data specifically about the durability of valve re-repairs after a repair has failed? If so, what are the outcomes? I don't have uh, data on uh, the longevity of uh, re-repair. But if I were to think uh, conceptually about this issue, uh, millions of patients have myxomatous valve disease and they have what we call prolapse. Only 5% of them uh, develop severe mitral regurgitation leading to surgery. So when we operate on that patient, we are removing the active uh, defect in the valve that caused the regurgitation, but we are keeping the patient with myxomatous valve disease. So I would say we can predict that 5% of them will recur. So when we reoperate on those patients, we can apply the same rule. Another 5% will recur over the lifetime of the patient. Now, knowing that, uh, the prognosis of a re-repair is far better than the prognosis of any replacement for that patient. Well, well, Dr. Hashem, although you didn't have the specific research, I love your thinking in how re-repairs can help the patient with a durable, lasting mitral valve. And on behalf of the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world, Dr. Hashem, thanks for everything you and your team are doing at Hartford Healthcare. Oh, thank you for the opportunity. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.